Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. So, after last time I invented the gray goo and the red goo uh, particles, which if you didn't see that video you should check it out, they basically eat the world, I decided to try my hand at creating a uh, defense system against it to see if there is really any way to stop it from eating the universe. So, here is my first attempt. This is just a wall that gets very, very cold. As you may know from the last video, the gray and red goo will stop functioning if you get under about negative 200 degrees Celsius. At that point, it becomes pretty much safe. The thing is, you have to get the gray goo or red goo itself to that temperature, not the thing it's spreading to. So we need it to be a little bit of a thick wall that's able to hold that temperature. And to accomplish that, what we've done is insulated the wall, so it's holding that cold in, and hopefully immediately upon breaching the wall, the goo will be, be cooled down to that level. So first, I'm going to just save this as city, city wall. City wall. Very nice. And uh, that's because we're going to test it with both goos. I think gray goo won't be able to penetrate this. Red goo catches on fire after it does its goo thing, so that may complicate things a little bit. Alright, uh, let's get it to fancy display mode. And we've unleashed gray goo onto the world. Okay, let's start it underground. May work a bit of a little bit better. There we go. Okay, we've unleashed gray goo into the world. It's beginning to eat away the city. And we're gonna see how this goes. I uh, it could also fly over the wall. I am a little bit concerned about that effect because it's just so light. Um but let's see what happens in regard to it versus the wall. So it is certainly spread- oh wow, it really is just going to go over the wall. I'm going to just manually prevent that because I'm more of trying to test the wall. I know we could just make it taller or put like a thing over it to prevent it from jumping over. So that's not really my concern. My concern is will it be able to halt the onslaught? Here it comes! Here comes the goo! What temperature is the goo at? Like, this goo is getting very cold very quickly, but can it go fast enough? Can it cool down fast enough to fight it? And it looks like maybe, just maybe, it can. You can see it losing heat through that hole, but you'll notice that the goo isn't really breaking through as quickly as you would expect. It's breaking through very, very slowly because the temperature is just so low. The further the goo breaks in, obviously, the more heat is going to leak, and eventually, possibly, the entire thing will fall apart. But maybe not. Maybe it will be able to hold on. So it is eating away that insulation layer, which is going to be bad news for the city, because that insulation layer is the thing that's keeping the cold in, and the cold is what's keeping it from taking over. So... But it's still, look at how well the wall is working against the Grey Goo. Like, it is certainly halting its approach, uh, even more so than I had expected. And I'm the one who programmed the damn thing. Yeah, it's it's slowing. I, I wonder if it'll just stop. This is really cold in here. Uh, it's holding the coldness to a level where I think that it may be able to just stabilize. Potentially. This goo is getting colder, not warmer. Um, so as it stands, I think that's kind of it. I, I think this wall actually was capable of saving the city. Of course, the wall got breached a tiny bit, but it's able to keep the temperature nice and low, and that's really, at the end of the day, all that matters. Granted, it would only take a tiny bit of something to uh, really ruin this, which is if this uh, insulation layer were to somehow catch on fire, uh, we will see very quickly that this wall is not going to be very helpful anymore. If I can actually get a fire started. Because insulation does burn, which uh, makes it a little bit questionable to be used. <laughs> For things where you want to, well, avoid burning. Uh, we're getting 10 FPS just because of the amount of Grey Goo. I'm just going to delete some of the Grey Goo just to unlagify things. There we go. 
every game 23 FPS. So as that uh, gray goo burn or the uh, insulation burns, because that's what we're simulating, uh, the temperature is actually no, it's still staying stable. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, wow, that freeze powder is really able to do its job. I, I guess, I guess maybe it's just safe. All right, cool. So it looks like uh, Grey Goo was not able to breach. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what happens if we put some Red Goo. Now, Red Goo catches on fire after it's done doing its conversion, which makes it a lot more dangerous uh, than the Grey Goo. Or at least a lot more destructive. I mean, they'll both eat everything with enough time. But the fact that the fire, uh, the heat accelerates the spread of Goo. Um, and so the fact that it can make its own heat, it's kind of self-accelerating, <laughs> which, if you think about it, is kind of a nightmare situation. But it also dies over time, unlike the Grey Goo, so you can run out of Red Goo if it doesn't manage to breach quickly. So you can see the fire as it's trying to burn away, and it is eating away at that layer there, the uh, layer of insulation. It's eating away at the ground. It's now starting to break into that freeze powder section. And I think the fire is actually helping it keep that temperature up and have a chance at breaking through. And I think it's having a lot more success in breaking through than its gray brother. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. This is, uh, wow. The amount of damage is so much lower than I had expected. I guess I guess a well-designed, uh, just cold wall will deal with the goo. I mean, if we add more goo, like if if you continue adding goo, it, it will eventually be able to eat through and do damage. But yeah, just a leak of goo, you could protect a city. I wonder how thin we could make this. <laughs> Like, this entire concept. So let's go ahead and grab this city again. I want to see if I can do a dome. I love doing domes in this game. If you've watched my channel before, you know this. Um, you know I have a thing for domes. So let's go ahead and do a... Um, outer layer insulation, of course, to hold the cold in, you know. And then inside of there, we're going to go for titanium. I don't know why I zoomed out with that tool, that's going to make my life a lot harder. Oops. There we go. Titanium. We'll make it kind of thin. Freeze powder. And then uh, insulation again. There it is! There's my dome design. Is it going to win any awards? No. Is it going to work? I have no clue. Okay, we're gonna kinda cut the top off and build it. Oh shoot, I forgot an important part of the dome. Um, whoops! Guess I'll just delete everything real quick, plop this down. I forgot the freeze powder! You know the part that actually makes it work? Yeah. It's not good to forget. Okay, now we're gonna restart. We're gonna put it down over... City, I'll put it a little bit higher. It should still work, I think. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> uh, get rid of that wall. I mean, it may leak enough heat. Uh, it, it, it could potentially leak enough heat through the bottom for it to be a problem, but I'm just gonna pray it doesn't. I'm not going to worry about things before they happen. That is what Sith do, and I'm not a Sith. Neither am I a Jedi. I I created a world-destroying element that's going to slowly eat away the world. I'm not a good person, but I'm also not a horrible person. Actually, no, I, I'm pretty horrible if we're using, if we're judging me by what I just created. That That is pretty terrible. <laughs> I guess I am the bad guy. I, I don't want to admit it, but I kind of am. Alright, let's go ahead and do a test using our good friend Red Goo.
And uh, let's see what happens. We're gonna start it off in that building. They were doing evil experimentation and accidentally created red goo. How sad. It'll only take a few particles flying around. It's kind of like, like mold spores. They kind of just land and float around and spread. A disgusting creature. Nanorobots. Nanorobots is how I described it before, so we'll stick to that. And these little spores down here are gonna come right down. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they just all flew away. No, these are gonna hit. These are gonna hit something. Ready? Here it goes. Round two. <laughs> now we have more nano. Ro oh, shoot. Well, this, is it over? Is this one little pixel going to restart the infection or is it the end? I guess your attacks with red goo have to be kind of well placed because it's so light, it can just fly, fly away after. Okay, let's just do it underground. Simplest way to do this. Gets a large amount going quickly. The only issue is that this is not defended from underneath. Um, just something that I just realized is more of a problem than I thought originally. I do have a plan to solve this. Uh, it's called Kind of Stupid, but screw it. I'm sure that this is fine. Damn it. <laughs> I had a really good idea. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it up here. This is absolute genius time now. Spike Viper genius going to make this work. You guys are going to just be so impressed by my intelligence here. Oh shoot. Um. I need more space! Actually, I don't need the upper part of this, so let's just cut it to, like, here. Okay, I'm still gonna accidentally cut a little bit of that off. That's fine. I will copy it. Paste it over here. Delete this. I think this is going to have the exact- no, it won't. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And then I'm gonna cut this. Eh, then I put that. Oh, no, it's still, still too much. Okay, uh, shoot. Gotta put it higher. Put it up here. Cut even more off of this. There we go, okay. Okay, and now we're gonna cut this, and this has gotta work, right? No. The answer is no. The answer quite clearly is no. I, I had the wrong part of it the whole time. Um, okay, control Y. Uh, yeah, we need like this section. <gasps> oh, that's almost perfect. Almost. You know what? Just paste it there. Pretend that this is fine. We'll call it a day. Sometimes in science, things need to get a little bit ugly. Granted, I'm the person making the video, so we already know that. Oh, get it? Because I'm ugly? Good, good one, Spike. Alright, let's see what happens. So we can see how quickly it is ravaging through the city, but we can see it does slow down the moment it hits the protective barrier. Now, I don't know if it's enough to stop it. Ooh, and there's the fire! And it's breaking through. No, it's not thick enough. It was not thick enough. Oh, it made it through. And now it's just containing it. It's so much worse. It's just turned the city into a fireball. It's like the opposite of a snow globe. Ooh. Damn. Violent. All right, so guys, I think we've learned a lot today. First off, you can contain the goo. Second off, it needs to be a pretty thick and chunky uh, containment unit. So with that, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. What do you want to see me make next? Let me know in the comments. Comments. Peace.